Who won in the Epic vs. Apple case? I'm going to break it down for you. Welcome everybody to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here. You can find me on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. And the ruling in the Epic vs. Apple case is officially in. So let's break down what the judge has decided and what it means for App Store and apps going forward. In what is certainly a mixed ruling has benefits for both Apple as well as third-party developers. So Judge Yvonne Gonzalez Rogers decided against Epic in every point except for one. And that one point, Judge Rogers handed down a permanent injunction against Apple as it pertains to in-app purchases. And I'm going to touch on more, touch on that more in just a moment, but let's go back and talk about a few of the other things that were decided here. So Judge Rogers has decided that Apple is not a monopoly. So even though the judge decided that Apple is not a monopoly, she still infers that Apple could be a monopoly, but Epic did not provide enough evidence to support that. So in this case, Apple is not a monopoly. As Epic lost many of the points in this lawsuit, Epic must repay Apple 30% of what it earned when it implemented its own in-app purchasing method inside of Fortnite. They made over $12 million through this alternative payment method, so Epic owes Apple about $4 million from what it collected. Going back and talking, though, about those in-app purchase options, here's what the judgment says. Apple is permanently restrained and enjoined from prohibiting developers from including in their apps and their metadata buttons external links or other calls to action that direct users to purchasing mechanisms in addition to in-app purchasing and communicating with customers through points of contact obtained voluntarily from customers through account registration within the app. What that means is Apple will not be able to prevent developers from directing users to third-party payment methods. The big question that remains is what that's going to look like when implemented in the App Store. When the judge says Apple has to allow developers to direct users to alternative payment methods, how will that work? One option could be that Apple has to allow links to outside sources. So there could be a button inside of Fortnite that says pay with Fortnite and you click that and it opens the browser takes you to the Fortnite website and walks you the payment process there, or opens a browser inside of the Fortnite app itself and directs you through the payment process. Other people are saying that it could be as simple as just a one-tap option where you could implement your own payment method that authenticates via Face ID and processes via Stripe and cuts out Apple entirely as well. There are lots of different ways this could go, but it will open up alternative payment means for third-party apps. Apple has 90 days to enact this in the App Store, so it's going to be interesting to see how Apple responds in its implementation. Additionally, Judge Gonzalez Rogers has determined that Apple does not have to allow Fortnite back on the App Store. The judge determined that Apple's termination of Epic's developer account was valid because the developer breached its contract with Apple as a developer by implementing its own in-app payment system. Since that's the case, the judge will not force Apple to allow Fortnite back on the App Store. But that said, Apple could still allow Epic to bring Fortnite back voluntarily with the new rules that are in place. In response to the judge's ruling, Apple said in a statement, Today the court has affirmed what we know all along. The App Store is not in violation of antitrust law. As the court recognized, success is not illegal. Apple faces rigorous competition in every segment in which we do business and we believe customers and developers choose us because our products and services are the best in the world. We remain committed to ensuring the App Store is a safe and trusted marketplace that supports a thriving developer community and more than 2.1 million U.S. jobs and where the rules apply equally to everyone. Let me know what you guys think over on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. Do you think the ruling was fair? Do you think Epic won or Apple won? Go ahead and let me know and stay tuned. I've got a whole lot more videos coming your way.